How's it hanging and what's the haps, cool cats? We're back with another episode of the First Time Film Club. As you may or may not know, my name is Emily, the titular first timer. And this is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted name here. Movie Minch. Yeah, he's a pretty, right. he's a real minch. Um, I like it. Yeah. So you should know by now, hopefully. You've seen our other videos. We are watching our way through a long list of uh, movies that I haven't seen. Matthew, what are we watching? Tonight we're watching the 1991 comedy, The Naked Gun, Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear. Oh. And <laughs> and as per usual, I give you the movie and the genre, but that's it. You go in with whatever knowledge you have from pop culture and you let everybody know what you know about the movie beforehand. Yeah. All right. So I um, have seen uh, the first one. We watched mm -hmm. it. It's on another video. Drop a thing here. <laughs> um, Leslie Nielsen, freaking love him. Uh, it. I assume that this is gonna be the same brand of. Uh, oh gosh, what is it when you're making fun? Uh, parody, parody there comedy. <laughs> um, I was like, it's not satire. It's like just <laughs> funny. Um, but yeah. I have no idea what the premise of this is. I assume it's still Frank doing his Frank stuff. And um, fun hilarity is going to ensue. All right. Yeah. Well, let's watch the movie. Yeah. Um, I will say this real quick. Y'all forgive my face because it's kind of a situation. I'm having some eye problems. So <laughs> if I do some blinky blinks, uh, I'm not like winking morris code at you or anything i'm just like <laughs> allergies um so forewarning sorry say your bit again which bit again oh let's watch the movie that yeah bit. let's watch <laughs> oh, okay nailed it got it yeah pippin was in here before oh. we started so we just left him in yeah. and oh oj's back yeah make yourself at home there buddy yeah he says don't worry i will Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Bush. I thank you, Oh! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Lady now. Watch the head. I would like now to introduce a most distinguished American. This week he is being honored for his 1,000th drug dealer killed. <laughs> killed? <laughs> Damn. It's a high honor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, in all honesty, the last two I backed over with my car. <laughs> Luckily, they turned out to be drug dealers. Meh. <laughs> 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 And Dr. Meinheimer will present his recommendations <laughs> at the National Press Club dinner this Tuesday evening. <laughs> We're off to a good start. So I think that perhaps uh, okay. he's best qualified oh, no. to explain his research methods. No. Oh. Dr. Meinheimer. <laughs> Poor first lady just can't catch I a break. Just, I mean, also... I kind of look like that when I'm eating shellfish. Like, <laughs> just got to get in there, elbow grease it. Are you settled now? Yeah, he's he's okay. getting there. He's, I'm thinking about it. Oh, no. That's a colon. <laughs> oh, Orton. <laughs> Something different. Uh-huh. You need some Gatorade, baby. Go on, dehydrate. You're thinking about him again, aren't you? Maybe. What was his name? Watch out. Frank? Yes. You just can't forget about him, can you? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle of getting my car washed when I oh, heard no. the call over the police scanner. <laughs> oh. There'd been a bombing downtown. 
I was on my way to advise the DC police as part of the president's operation. He's still you better tip that man. I'm glad you could make it, Frank. I got here as quick as I could, Ed. Oh, congratulations. I understand that Edna's pregnant again. Yes, and if I catch the guy who hey, did Captain. it. <laughs> she took a nasty knock on the head. She looks pretty bad. I'll handle it. Yes, sir. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to ask you Oh, Jesus Christ! Not that bad. Uh, 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 She's uh, being questioned uh, over there by a <laughs> sketch artist. Not that bad. Jane? Dr. Meinheimer. Uh, Frank, this is Dr. Albert Meinheimer. Don't get up. <laughs> Anything can help. Yes, I, I gave the sketch artist a description. <laughs> Sorensen. Jane, I'd like to see the rest of the I institute. Love the body no, part. Mm -hmm. Dr. Meinheimer? Yeah, why, of course. We should start with the research area. That's a good idea. It's right this way. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about this man you saw last night. Uh, he is Caucasian. Caucasian? Yeah, you know, a white guy. With a mustache about six foot three. An awfully big mustache. <laughs> Jane and I have been seeing quite a lot of each other lately. How's my little Hellcat? Oh. Well, that's great. Uh, I've been dating too. Nice girl, an author. <laughs> She wrote the book on male sexual dysfunction. You've probably read it. <laughs> All right, I'm sure that we can handle this situation maturely, just like the responsible adults that we are. Isn't that right, Mr. Poopy Pants? Yes! <laughs> Anything you wish, my darling. Until tonight, then. Huh. huh. He too old to have that darker hair. Don't trust it. You don't talk about Robert that way. Who dat? Good lord. Thinking of you. Oh. I get out of bed. Wow. This is, place is a real downer. Just a little bit. <laughs> so All right. Who's that? Who's who? Who is that picture? Give me the strongest thing you got. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, how about a black Russian? Very well, sir. I guess I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> is it just my imagination, or is the whole world crazy? No, it's just that a is... small percentage of the population, Frank. That is I'm not... You're right. <laughs> You almost missed it. Sam, play our song. Of course. Oh boy. <laughs> if I dusted you for Prince right now, there'd be a lover boy, Quentin Habsburgs. Oh, you. <clears throat> well, I see a certain kitten still knows how to scratch. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. How'd you do you that? You shouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> I'm single. I, I love being single. I haven't had this much sex since I was a Boy Scout leader. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I mean, at the time, I was dating a lot. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! Dr. Meinheimer will deliver his speech. It is my view, for now we must rely on coal, oil, and nuclear energy. Yeah. Our Dr. Meinheimer. How you do that? My fee is one million dollars. <gasps> I'm worth every penny of it. I don't have any choice. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Do ya? <laughs> <laughs> After getting a good night's sleep, I decided to head back to police headquarters. Wait, what? I think head back? Mm-hmm. 
That's the red light district. Wonder why Savage is hanging out down there. Sex, Frank? Uh, no, not right now, Ed. <laughs> Lieutenant Frank Driven, police squad, this is my captain, Ed Hawker. Is this some kind of bust? Yes. Well, it's yes, very it impressive, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I tell you, Kappa? Because I'm the last line of defense between sleaze like this and the decent people in this town. Oh, hi, Frank. Say, we got that model D83 Swedish Sure Grip suck machine in that you ordered. No. <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift. Must be where um, they got the, uh, what was it called? The rear intruder or something? Oh, from Top Secret? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Jay. Closer. Roll off, baby. Mm. Step on it. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, what is this street? This is DC, not Detroit. <laughs> you were saying? Drive that tank, you're not checked out on it. No worry, Ed. Just keep him busy. Now put your hands on top of your head and come out. We've got you surrounded. Run, run, run. that because of you, this city is being overrun by baboons. Well, isn't that the fault of the voters? Uh... <laughs> 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 yeah, that perfectly timed rim shot. <laughs> oh, no. No, <laughs> 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 Rascal got some get up and go, man. Dang. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so that was like a joke from E.T. You All see. Right. You know that one, huh? Yeah, I seen that one. Time to get there, it might be a reasonably sized bouquet. Or nothing at all. <laughs> Have you noticed anything different about him? Well, only that he's a foot taller. <laughs> and he seems to be left handed now. <laughs> Frank, what are you trying to tell me? That Quentin has somehow found an exact double for Dr. Meinheimer, and that tomorrow that double will give a fraudulent report to the president? Why, that's brilliant. <laughs> That's a lot better than what I'd come up with. <laughs> I'm out of something big. I'm gonna need you in Nordberg tomorrow. What's he doing in Detroit? <laughs> ah! We'll send him plain fare and a new pair of pants. <laughs> oh no. Apart from this, you came in to assassinate this woman. You ain't have a loaded gun. You're the worst. <laughs> Can it be <laughs> that it was all so simple then, or has time rewritten it? <laughs> 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 oh. 
No. He leaking. <laughs> oh, oh, I was so frightened. Oh, no. What happened out there? Don't worry about it. Nothing. There's nothing to worry about. But if I were you, I wouldn't leave until they've had a chance to shampoo the carpets. <laughs> Will you stay with me? Please. the movie but you know what that's from i know what it's from okay <sighs> Dark. titties uh that's not i'm <laughs> should see a doctor immediately with one <laughs> mm -hmm. it's meant to me like <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah we get it <laughs> everybody gets it <laughs> penny joke Mark my words, Ed, that Huffberg is up to something right up to his pretty important shirt collar. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this fog will keep us concealed all the way over to Huffberg's warehouse. That's not fog, Frank. The number two engine's on fire. They're trying to put it out. <laughs> keep an eye on the number four engine. It's running a little hot. <laughs> when you hear me say, I love it, you guys move in. Check. <laughs> Ready, Frank? <laughs> Wrong side of the boat. The water's yep. over there, Frank. Mm -hmm. uh. mm. <laughs> Do you know why scuba divers fall backwards out of the boat like that? I assume because it looks cool. Uh, no. It's because if they fell forward, they'd still be in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. <laughs> yeah, you weren't ready. <laughs> oh, no. For God's sake. Because <laughs> we know that nuclear energy is safe. In fact, we kind of think of it as our friendly neighbor. But remember. Uh huh. There it is. <laughs> I was wondering who's going to have the extra lamb. Now we're going to try the roof. <laughs> and I'm going to try it again. Lieutenant Drebin, you were supposed to have been killed last night. Oh! Smooth. <laughs> What's that smell? Who is that? Oh, that sure. would be me. I've been swimming in raw sewage. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love it! I love it! <laughs> That's the signal. Let's go. I love it!
Yep. <laughs> This warehouse. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> ah. Good Lord. <laughs> Look at what they did to Dr. Meinheim. <laughs> I'm just John Q. Public now. It's just you and me. <laughs> all right, all right, he's had enough. Ed, yeah. <laughs> I told Jane to meet us at the hotel's rear entrance. Where's that, Frank? In the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand points of. Light, light, thousand points, light. Recession, bad, recovery, good. <laughs> Nailed it. The President mm. of the United States. Whoever that is, that's a whoop whoop. <laughs> They're not the President. Well, I'm impressed. I'll intercept Hacker. You get the doc prepared for his speech. Ah! Hit him with the old ZZ Top. <laughs> Dr. Meinheimer. Yes. Or should I say, Hacker. <laughs> Women! <laughs> Foreign oil has put a stranglehold Ooh. on our national budget. So a lot of cuts have to be made. <laughs> and some people are going to be <laughs> Just keep Stress. cutting until we have an impact. And that's the only way we'll be able to move forward. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Whoopsie daisy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scandalous and salacious. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> Pussy so good. <laughs> Don't listen to this man, yeah, he's a fraud! Sure. Because the real Dr. Meinheimer has a birthmark in the shape of Whistler's mother, right? <laughs> Obviously a forgery. We'll see about this. Is there a steel wool? <laughs> Just, you know. Frank is right. There is a fraud in this room. God. And he's just given us this signed confession implicating that man. <laughs> No, 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 no. That man, Quentin Habsburg. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say here. <laughs> what the hell? Take cover. your attitude forget it <laughs> <laughs> it's as far as you go drummond any final requests lieutenant yes can i have the gun <laughs> 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 Give me that abort call. What? Hmm? 
Is something wrong? I wasn't expecting a lion. You forgot about the zoo animals? I, I did. <laughs> Reset detonation code. First press pound sign. Per your command, the speed of this sequence has been greatly increased. Detonation now in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Could reduce the world solar panel by 90%. What the Elaborate on point one hundred and two. Here, read this. It's an emergency. Undulating <laughs> bodies writhing in a sensual rhythm as he thrust his purple-headed warrior into her quivering mound of love pudding. <laughs> Just stay calm. No one is going to be harmed by the huge bomb that's going to explode any minute. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Uh, this close. Dang. Whoops. It's a cookbook. It's a cookbook. Sir. you to consider filling a special post I'm going to create. Long hours, dangerous nights, being surrounded by some of the scummiest elements in our society. You want me to be in your cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Boom. Now. <Nah. laughs> a new federal bureau of police squad. Blowing away a fleeing suspect with my 44 Magnum used to be everything to me. I enjoyed it. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> Oh no. 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 Mm -mm. <laughs> Jane, will you marry me? Yes, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You know the drill. This is a Zucker movie. Yep. We're staying through the credits. Hang on <laughs> out. Let me see here. Mr. Goodman's hearing aid. Second, second assistant director. Mm -hmm. See, what's sad is like a lot of these, I'm like, shit, that might be your <laughs> that real That might job. be an actual position. <laughs> it's like, I have no idea. Polygrip. What the hell is polygrip? <laughs> George Foreman. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'll have it ready in the morning. <laughs> People who acted in the acronym. movie. Mel Tomei. That's who that was. That's not Mel Tomei. Some kind of bust. Weird Al. Weird Al. <laughs> so, that was a naked gun two and a half. <laughs> Smell of fear. <laughs> Overall thoughts? I mean, you, you knew. I knew it was going to be good. <laughs> oh, bye then, I guess, Pippin. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it's my kind of humor. Just mm -hmm. ridiculous. <laughs> Any uh, favorite parts, favorite jokes? I know there's a there's a lot, so it's hard to pick out. Oh, jeez, Louise. Um, mm, I'm gonna need you, you. I'm gonna need your notes. Oh, uh, but you have a pad. You brought me in. I only wrote can. one thing, and then I got <laughs> distracted. Yeah, you get. <laughs> That's okay. You should just enjoy the movie the first time. Well, yeah, I did. I did. 
Uh, the only thing I wrote on <laughs> my notes was picture at bar. Who dat? <laughs> So, <laughs> that was for me to Google. Great note. Great note. I'm sure someone will put it yeah. down in the comments and let the, you know. Who is that guy in the picture in the in the sad bar? <clears throat> um, I loved the, as always, like the stupid, the, like the little, almost background humor. Yeah, you little know? background gags. God. Like the guy building a ship yeah. in the surveillance van. <laughs> and the fact that that drink was quite obviously not anywhere near black russian um and and you know the little the little look that he got i mean <laughs> i love that that's one of the, one of the things i have here that whole sequence with the, you know bring me the strongest thing you got mm -hmm. and he's like mm, second thought just give me a black russian and the waiter like look at his camera like no nah, we're not gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> love it um uh let's see the i i mean i might be a psychic or yeah, I you, maybe uh, I should be a writer for you know, Zaz. <laughs> nah. <laughs> the uh, the Detroit. Uh, yeah. That yeah. one. That one tickled me. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, my favorite thing about pretty much any you know Zucker Abrams Zucker movie, Naked Gun series, Airplane, Top Secret, or the the uh. Uh, I can't remember think of what to call them, but like play on words jokes. Oh yeah, <laughs> just uh. Where is that? It's, yeah, that's one I got on here. You know, it's like it's, <laughs> he had a mustache about six two. That's a big mustache. <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> no, she's gonna meet us in the rear. Where is that? It's in the back. <laughs> and oh, stuff like that. That's stupid. I love it. Uh, I love the <gasps> one of my favorite parts is the uh in the the blue note the sad bar and it's like play our song for us one more time and the witch is dead it's like just <laughs> <laughs> did not expect that <laughs> and my other favorite gag from this movie is the like the parody of rooftop shootout or any kind of like shootout where it keeps cutting from frank to the mm -hmm. henchman and mm -hmm. back and forth then it does a wide shot and they're like literally two feet from each other <laughs> That might be my favorite gag. <laughs> I wrote on here, it's a cookbook, because when the man was running out saying, yeah. it's a cookbook, it's a cookbook, yeah, you look confused. You I, didn't was, get that. I so was confused. That's from a episode of The Twilight Zone. So we'll, ooh, I can show you that later. Okay. But anyway, okay. when you watch the episode of Twilight Zone, you'll get it. Okay. All right. We cool. can watch that later. Cool beans, cool beans. So I was one of the many reasons I love you. You brought my horizon of watch watch <laughs> rising no sure um any, any other uh favorite parts favorite jokes gags nothing nothing comes to mind i mean like it's it's how about a scuba diver joke <laughs> y'all like mostly uh, mostly i'm just upset that i you just mad I you didn't, didn't think i, I didn't <laughs> say it and that I didn't see it coming. I didn't think of it. I've heard it but, before, but I love it. But see, like, that's the thing, right? Like, he's always dropping, like, knowledge bombs and shit on me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you didn't awesome. expect a dad joke. No, before. I didn't. That's my <laughs> Stop, you know, stepping oh. on my bit. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I crossed the line. <laughs> you crossed the line. <laughs> no, this one was great. Um, what, what, would you, what would you rate it? Ooh, it's... Yeah, it's up there. Uh, I can't remember what I rated the first one. I have to go back and look, but I'm, I'd probably give this about a eight, eight and a half. Okay. Um, would you say you like this one better or the first one better? Mm, that's a tough call. Yeah. I think. Ooh, I think I'd go with this one. Really? I think so. It's it's a it's a it's it's real real close. close. It's real close. Super close. I, I think I like the first one slightly better. I don't okay. know why. It may just be because it was my first. Um, so, like, I've got that. You always remember your first. I always no. remember your first. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, that, I may change my uh, I may change my, my tune once I get into the editing and I re-watch everything again. Um, but I, I think probably, like, like an 8.2. 
Yeah. Okay. I don't like throwing these, you know, whole numbers in there. Uh, That's see. crazy. I got you. Yeah. Weirdo. <laughs> But no, yeah, definitely rewatch. Like it a lot. I'm ready mm-hmm. for the movie I don't like. Like Oh, I'm sure. I mean, there's some there's some on the list that I'm not a huge fan of, but they're popular in pop culture and uh-huh. I've seen them before, so All right. And now we'll see. now I'm curious, two questions for you guys. What uh, you know, how would you rate, you know, this one versus the first Naked Gun? And what are some movies that you think that we should watch that you think that I won't like um, based on what you've seen of, of my reactions thus far. Oh, well, that, that'll just be any romantic comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> Make it a challenge. Make it a non-romantic <laughs> comedy that you think that I would not like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? I was going to try to, like, give them a like an idea of what kind of movies you like. I mean, they already have an idea because most of these movies you already like, but I know the answer to this. But if you had to say, like, if you had to pick one movie that's your favorite movie, I think I know the answer to it if you don't. Um, well, I'm gonna say. I'll tell you afterwards, but I want you to, like, put it up here, blinging, like, this is what Matthew's thinking of. Yeah. Can I, can I say top three? Sure. Snatch. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Number one all-time favorite movie, which yeah. is great. But you that's... like dogs? Um, dogs. <laughs> oh yeah, dogs. I like dogs. Um, <laughs> Snatch, McClintock, and a Goofy movie. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's broad a, spectrum. Broad spectrum. Um, but yeah, that's anyway. But, okay. okay, Snatch was your guess, but uh, but yeah, so those are like for different and varying reasons. Those three are like, I guess, my top three favorite movies. And if I had to be trapped somewhere, I'm gonna, I, I bet no one saw McClintock coming, bro. I love <laughs> so, like, I grew up on McClintock, like John Wayne, like, I, I that was me, that was my house, was some John Wayne ish, <laughs> but yeah. Naked Gun two and a half. The smell of fear. I assume the smell was in fact the raw sewage, um, and mm-hmm. uh, enjoyed it a lot. So, anything else from you? No, I think we've talked enough. That is tradition. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you don't mind, please go ahead, give this video a like, drop us a comment. Like I said, let us know what your preference is between the two. Um, give me some suggestions for other movies. And uh, if you don't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We want you to be a part of the Film Club experience, too. And with all that being said, we'll see you next time with another first time.